Okay, so we are less than five minutes away like from the uh, from the other uh, Capcom spotlight, which uh, which it's basically a Capcom showcase of that uh, which uh, so that uh, which uh, apparently I had the time you know to uh, to to do a, a stream reaction on it. So uh, uh, I know that uh, earlier I know that earlier this morning um uh, they uh, they uh, just uh, dropped the report that uh, that uh, we are officially getting uh, the demo of uh, Resident Evil Four Remake coming out today. So I'm assuming it's uh, it's uh, right after this uh, showcase uh, stream spotlight. Let me correct myself. So, so yeah, uh, uh, I'm currently still trying to uh, finish up uh, streaming uh, Resident Evil Four, um, uh, the original one. Uh, but the problem was that uh, like, uh, uh, but the reason why I haven't got back on it because I uh, like uh, my stream kept cutting out, you know, because it was just uh, like it was just like total bullshit. So uh, I, I just don't know what's I, I didn't even know like what was going on. But uh, like every time like uh, I reset my router or reset my modem, like uh, I try to get back onto streaming, but it just kept on cutting out. But the problem was, uh, it's not, it's not really my, it's not really my internet. It's the, it's the fact, it's the fact that I had like a, some sort of internet outage around my neighborhood. So, uh, so yeah, uh, hopefully, uh, I'm streaming right now. And so and, uh, hopefully it doesn't really cut out this time because uh, if it does, then I'm going to be very pissed off. So, uh, oh, and, and of course uh, I will be streaming, uh, the demo for Resident Evil, for Resident Evil 4 Remake if the, if the demo actually comes out today. So, so yeah, uh, let's just have to see uh, what Capcom has in store for us. Like, like with this showcase, other than the fact that, like, uh, we're going to see more of, uh, updates of, uh, of Resident Evil 4 before the demo comes out. And, and again, it's coming out today. As you just saw here, as what I just saw here, I'm, uh, I just saw the Nintendo Switch logo, so I'm assuming, uh, they're bringing the Resident Evil game into the Nintendo Switch. Yeah, they're bringing it to the Switch. PlayStation. All right, 10 seconds away. All right. Capcom Spotlight. Minasan, konnichiwa. Capcom Spotlight. Oh shit. This is Japanese. 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 I'm going to need some translation for this. Mazu Saishori Gosho Kaisu Taito wa Kotira des. Ima de mo Bokura wa Snaga Tiru. The Mega Man Battle Network. Lokuman Eggs series, numbering the Jusak Hinga, Nintendo Switch, PlayStation 4, Steam Nintendo. Land and his net navy Mega Man EXE work together to solve countless cyber crimes in the real world as well as the interconnected online The Mega Man Battle Network series Add battle chips to your chip folder to use in combat as you battle viruses on the net Select multiple chips of the same type I remember these games each turn to create powerful combat I used to play the shit out of these games like uh, like uh, I'm uh, on the Game Boy Getting a message from director Masakazu Iguchi aka Mr. Famous Battle routine, set, execute. Hello everyone, it's Mr. Famous. I'm excited to share the latest Battle Network news with you all. First, check out this video. Oh man, the theme song! I mean, those are I mean, those are great times to me back then. And like, like, I mean, I mean, when I had those games on the on the Game Boy. Da -da -da. They brought they're bringing in everything. I'm gonna play a couple of them, including the last one. Battle Network Legacy Collection includes all 499 patch cards from Battle Network 4 onward that were available only in Japan as physical cards. In Battle Network 4, 5, and 6, players can enable or disable patch cards. Buster Max Mode multiplies the Mega Buster's damage by 100, letting players enjoy the story and speed up combat. You can turn this feature on or off at any time during the story based on how you want to play. 
And don't worry, Buster mode is automatically turned off for online net battling. That's all I have for you today. I've been Mr. Famous. Thank you, Mr. Famous. Mega Man Battle Network Legacy Collection includes My Game Boy. I played the shit out of these games so much as a kid, so uh, to enjoy in the gallery. I don't know if I still have with it. Online play, players can connect with distant friends and rivals to trade battle chips and net battle too. Pre-orders are available now. Mega Man Battle Network Legacy Collection brings I still have it. Mega Man Battle Nintendo Switch, PlayStation 4, Battle Network Steam. 6, Cyber Beast Craigar. Yeah, I still have it. Volume 1 and Volume 2 will also be available at launch. Starting March 21st, the English version of Mega Man NT Warrior will be available to watch for free. Check the official website for more information. A new era of oh, Street Fighter 6 is upon us. More updates. Uh, I, I do know that uh, we, we got like three new fighters out, uh, which is Cammy, Zonkiev, and, uh, and, and some new character. This is the latest edition of the series that... Cammy! Zonkiev! In addition to fighting ground, where the pinnacle of genre-defining battles take place, Street Fighter VI includes World Tour, an immersive single-player story mode, and Battle Hub, an online social space reminiscent of arcades. There are a number of new ways to play beyond just fighting. Today, we'll introduce the final color commentator included in the game. Please enjoy this video. Uh... So, last fighter? Here comes a new co- Cammy. I mean, a lot of people are saying, uh, uh say, I mean, a lot of, a lot of people are going crazy over her, so. Zonkiev. Okay. Nani? She's carrying Zongia. What? The, what? Street Fighter Six. I mean, we're getting Tekken Eight. We're getting Street Fighter Six. Is that a Dante skit? No. Japanese actress Hikaru Takahashi is joining the fray, bringing our lineup of play by. Hey, Zelina Vega, WWE superstar Zelina Vega. Real-time commentary matches the in-game action and brings the competitive thrill and excitement straight to your home. Subtitles for real-time commentary will be supported in 13 languages. Turn on rally support and the commentators will cheer you on, creating a more personal experience. Street Fighter 6 launches on June PlayStation 2nd. 5, PlayStation 4, Xbox Series X and Xbox Series S, and Steam on June 2nd, 2023. Pre-orders are now available, along with a limited number of pre-order bonuses. Can't wait to play with my boy CD Ken and Chun-Li. My childhood waifu. We'll have more Street Fighter 6 updates at a later date. Capcom Pro Tour 2023 invites players around the world to compete to be the best. All right, you ready? We're also proud to announce the 2023 season will feature Street Fighter VI. I don't know evil. the game's release, there will be a special prize package this season. The first place winner of Capcom Cup will receive $1 million. The total prize pool for the season will be over $2 million. Jesus Christ. Next, we'd like to share some exciting Capcom news. Capcom celebrates its 40th anniversary this June. As part of the celebration, all right, we're opening a digital 40 years. theme park 
called Capcom Town. Wait, what? We're planning to construct a digital museum and other buildings. <laughs> what? Really? It's June 12, 2023. Where? Please see this link for the latest. In Japan? I'm, it's not going to be here in the U.S., but I know it's in Japan. An ID account is required to play Resident Evil Reverse, Exoprimal, and use the online features of Street Fighter VI. You can use this account with other Capcom services and campaigns, such as a survey about today's Capcom Spotlight. We'll release more titles and services compatible with Capcom ID soon. Register now for Capcom ID. Futuristic exosuits and dinosaurs class in Exoprimal. Exoprimal. In this team-based action game, players suit up as exofighters who work for the IBS Corporation. Use a variety of unique exosuits and rigs to fit your playstyle and work with teammates to combat hordes of dinosaurs in Dino Survival. Let's take a look at the latest trailer. We have some surprises in store, so be sure to watch to the end. In every war game, Ace really is getting pulled back three years into the past. Back to 2014, right before the Stradivader fails. Huh. You're a time traveler. This is no random outbreak. Leviathan is intentionally summoning them as cannon fodder for the war game. I mean, we're basically killing dinosaurs. Why repeat the same thing over and over? Sending the dinosaurs back to extinction. And exactly did you say your sister passed? Three years ago. One of the first outbreaks. Never found out more than that. You know how the Chief network Herico was. Lorenzo. She is alive. In the island. In the past. The music is so. The music is badass. Fuck! I'm making copyright. I got that little bit of a, a Devil May Cry 5 vibe, you know. Music, badass cutscenes, badass combos, and... Exo Primo. Hey, you wanna try talking to Pear that you? Another one. Hmm. Still high some. Oh. Right to you. Spider Man. Hmm? Yeah, Lorenzo's name is Fully Style. Okay. I mean, obviously, I'm, I'm excited for Street Fighter Six. I mean, Exo Fighter recruit. Wait, right? same month as Street Fighter Six. Welcome to Ivius. Oh, beta will be on the PlayStation. Okay, so I'll play the beta. I'll check it out. Jesus, how many skins are we getting? Oh, there's season pass. Obviously, it's an online server type of game, so... I don't know. Oh, it's on the game pass! It's coming to the game pass! What did you think? We had a lot of new info, including the release date. Let's go over it in detail. Exo Primal launches on July 14th. Before that, we'll be holding an open beta test. In addition to the eight exosuits we've previously introduced, the two new suits in today's trailer will also be playable in the open beta test. Experience the power of each exosuit for yourself as your team faces off against a wall of dinosaurs in Dino Survival, the game's main mode. Participants in the open I remember playing Dino Crisis. Survey will also receive an IBS that, battle that game was kick-ass. Be used in the full game. 
please visit the official site for beta test timing, content, and bonus item info. Now I'd like to introduce the Survival Pass reward system. Like a battle pass. As players acquire experience points in the Survival Pass, their Survival Pass level goes up, and they earn rewards separate from player and suit levels. Mm. The Survival Pass includes a free tier and a paid premium tier. Purchasing the premium tier unlocks access to special rewards, including 19 exosuit skins and 10 weapon skins. Here are what some of the emos? rewards. The Deluxe Edition includes the Survival Pass Season 1 Premium Tier as an added limited time bonus. Exoprimal launches mm. July 14th, 2023. Pre-order bonuses are also available. Please see the official site for details on bonus items and the game. The latest Exoprimal news can be found on the official website and social media. We'll have more for you soon. Okay. We look forward to seeing you in the open beta test. your powers of the dead to uncover the truth about your death. Ghost Trick, the classic mystery game from Ace Attorney creator Shu Takumi is being reborn. The game will release on June 30th, 2023. Another game coming out the same month as a uh, dark corner of the city. Same as uh, Street Fighter. Sissel is shot and killed. He reawakens as a soul and realizes <coughs> he's lost his memory and his life. Who was I? Who killed me? And why did I have to die? These are the mysteries he's trying to solve with the powers of the dead. Sissel has two basic abilities, possessing objects in the ghost world and then tricking them in the real world. A hitman is after the red-headed target, Lynn. Use the powers of the dead to get her out of wild predicaments. The key to changing fate is possessing and tricking all sorts of objects. Sissel will face death in many forms. Use the powers of the dead to go back four minutes before someone's death. Changing their fate will change the story. And that story must be linked in some way to the mystery of Sissel's death. This board includes updated high-res graphics, increased frame rate, and an optimized user interface. Check out the new challenges feature. You can earn illustrations and music from the game by meeting certain conditions. In addition, all 37 tracks from the game have newly arranged versions. You can switch between the original and new versions as you play. Hello everyone. I'm Shu Takumi, the writer and director of Takumo. the original Ghost Trip Ta game. Takumi Shu. We're thrilled to share the release date with you all. I'm incredibly excited to revisit Ghost Trick. It's in June, right? We had Yasumasa Kitagawa from the Great Ace Attorney series handle the music. He did incredible work remastering the original songs to match the new graphics. We've also added original music from composer Masakazu Sugimori to celebrate the new version of the game. I hope you enjoy these new songs. The story of lost lives and lost memory all in a single night. Ghost Trick will be reborn in high resolution with new music on June 30th, 2023 for Nintendo Switch, PlayStation 4, Xbox One, and Steam. Say hello to the last gen. Respect. Check out the official website for information about the pre-order bonus. It's going to be backwards compatible to the PS5 and the Series X and S. SX. Yeah, backwards compatibility.
it's time to more monster hunters hunting spirit on even more platforms monster hunter rise is now available for xbox series x and xbox series s xbox one windows playstation 5 and playstation 4. please watch this video with information about the latest promotions Sunbreak. A lot of cool badass looking monsters. I wonder why wasn't this like ever nominated as a ongoing game of the year? Loyal dog costume, striped kite costume. <laughs> okay. Oh, free. That's cool. The massive expansion Monster Hunter Rise Sunbreak will be released for these platforms on April 28, 2023. That's next month. You can look forward to a host of new features, including new monsters, locales, and combat mechanics, in addition to memorable new characters and storylines. The expansion includes the free title updates up to free title update 3 giving you instant access to chaotic Gore Magala and other powerful monsters. We'll have information about future updates at a later date. Free title updates are also available for Monster Hunter Rise Sunbreak for Nintendo Switch and Steam. Hi. We will host a Monster Hunter Rise Sunbreak digital event in April to share the latest information about the next free title update 5. Moving Resident Evil. To the next topic. We have news about the Resident Evil series. Resident Evil 4, obviously. Oh, hey! Oh, it, it, it's that new animated... It's that new animated movie, Leon, Chris, and uh, I, uh, I know, I know uh, that this is uh, right after um, Resident Evil Death Island. Death Island. It's after it's after Vendetta. Yeah, it's a timeline after Vendetta. We're excited to share this new preview with you all. You may have noticed Jill Valentine made a brief appearance at the end of the video. And they went back to her Resident old Evil design. Death Island will release she looks just summer. like the remake of Resident Evil 3. Resident Survival Evil 4. Is just the beginning. Resident Evil 4 launches soon. So does, does that confirm a demo that we're getting today after this? I'm so pl it's like I said earlier, I'm still playing the original one. I I, I gotta finish that one Hello, up. Hello everyone. I'm Yoshiaki Hirabayashi, producer of Resident Evil 4. We're grateful for all of the RE4 fans who are excited for the game's release. This game is a remake of the original which was released in 2005. So one of the greatest of all time, so. It takes place six years after the Raccoon City incident and depicts federal agent Leon S. Kennedy as he fights to survive. Our goal is to create a fresh yet familiar experience. We've preserved the core of the original game and added updated graphics and a reimagined storyline. Oh yeah. RE4's release date is just around the corner, but we have a special announcement prepared for you today. Demo. Please check out this video. Oh, 
Here we go. The demo? Yes! Available today! No time limit! Thank you! No fucking way. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Chainsaw demo. The wait is over. A trial version of Resident Evil 4 that we are calling Chainsaw Demo will be available starting today. You know what that means. It takes place in the beginning of the game as Leon first enters a European village. The Chainsaw Demo has no time limit and you can play it as many times as you want. Thank you! The platform Thank you! PlayStation 5 and PlayStation 4 as well as Xbox Series X and Xbox Series S and Steam. We hope you enjoy trying a portion of this reimagined survival horror. Resident Evil 4 is currently available for pre-order. Both the Standard Edition and the Deluxe Edition include pre-order bonuses. Be sure to oh, wow. check them out. There's not long until the March 24th release date. March 24th. Please enjoy the trial version until then. Thank you for watching today. Son of Zar. And finally, we have a message about the Capcom publisher sale. The Resident okay. Evil series, with the exception of the upcoming Resident Evil 4 and Monster Hunter Rise, are currently on sale. And we will be opening the massive expansion, Monster Hunter Rise Sunbreak, for pre-orders. Don't miss this opportunity to pick up digital copies of Capcom's hits. That's all for our event today. All right. Watching. We look forward to sharing more about our latest titles through a future Capcom Spotlight or Capcom Showcase. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Well, you know what that means. Oh, I gotta hurry up and uh, and uh, check the PlayStation Store, you know, to see uh, if the if the demo is officially available right now. So. Uh, so, so that means uh, I gotta d download it first, and then uh, I don't know, like wait, wait for a couple hours, and uh, and uh, I'll be back on Twitch streaming and later on tonight, you know, to uh, to uh, to stream the demo. So, so yeah. Uh, overall, uh, what do I think about this uh, showcase and uh, well, this spotlight stream? So uh, it's actually really enjoyable to watch, and uh, I I'm, I'm really glad that uh and that we get to get more Resident Evil updates, and uh, well, what I'm really excited for is uh, I mean, well. Three things that I'm really excited for: uh, the Mega Man Battle Network series, uh, the Resident Evil 4 remake, which is uh, right around the corner. We're, we're very close, and Street Fighter V. So, so yeah. Uh, uh, props to you, Capcom. But, uh, I really hope that uh, we get more from you soon. Uh, apparently, we're, it seems like we're getting a lot of things from Capcom this year. So, so yeah. Uh, I really can't wait to see uh, how, how they pulled off in 2023. All right, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed, it, if you enjoyed the video, then uh, thank you. Uh, let me know down in the comment and, uh, and, uh, and uh, of other Capcom projects that uh, that uh, you're really excited for. Like, are you really excited? Are you excited for Resident Evil 4 remake? Are you excited for Street Fighter 6? And uh, and uh, uh, yeah, I'm just I'm just happy that uh, that uh, we get to see uh, a re uh, a re like a remastered version of uh, of the Mega Man Battles Battle Never series. So. Uh, yeah, it's like I pulled out earlier. Uh, I still have my uh, my Mega Man Battle Network Six game for the Game Boy, you know, for the Game Boy Advance, and uh, yeah, I really can't wait you know, to to to, to uh, replay the old games and you know, like uh, you know, well, to get my hands on all of them, you know, from one to six. So, so yeah, all right, thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys have have a great time, you know, playing the demo. And uh, if you if you if you have a chance to play the demo, then to feel free to let me know how how it goes. So. Thank you so much for watching, and as always, I will see you next time from the big boy. Later.